This is such a proud moment. I've been waiting for this for a long time. And it's finally here. Let me open this up. And look what it says. Congratulations! No, not because I graduated high school. I did that too. Or college. I didn't do that. But I did something I've been trying to do all couple of months. Yay! A hundred subscribers! All right! I graduated! Woo! Thanks, and listen, and stick with me, folks, because we're going to go for two. Well, good morning, folks. I'm starting to enjoy this uh, little conversation from my easy chair. But I just want to mention this one particular point. Uh, if you notice here on the screen right here, that's what I've been telling you for years. eBay business people are going downhill. Here's an individual who's been using eBay for a long time. Even though the piece of, he's quitting eBay and everything. That's why we endorse and encourage people to use Mercari and Poshmark. They even have a little guy in New York who sells a lot of Funko Pops and comic books. He's got, I, I call him the little Billy Goat Man because he's got the little hair down, down there. And uh, he's a, he, he makes in a lot of buys, I know, with some Mercari, something that he was experimenting with when during the shutdown and also um, during the time where eBay was having their problems in a more profound way, still are. But this is something I want to share with you. Also, to pay close attention, we decided to take a tour of Walmart, because Walmart sometimes has a lot of variety of things. Sometimes they even have pops. So take a look at this video from the here on out and see not only the uh, Funko Pops that they have, which is very limited, as well as the other toys. And sometimes it's good to see those things and everything. So check us out. So on the way to the doctor's office, actually my wife needed to go to the bank or something. I'm not sure what it was, but... We decided to kill some time to go to Walmart. Now, where are the Funko Pops? I know that they sell some, but they don't haven't always had a large selection. So I asked this gentleman here, I can't find your Funko Pops, where the toys are. He says, uh, they, uh, they have to ask to work there. They're, they're over there in the electronics. The electronics? These are toys. They're not like radios. Well, let's go get some Funko Pops. So... We went to go check out their, their, how much they have. And as we're walking through here, uh, my wife, she's trying to cut ahead of me. Come on, wherever you are, Funko, she's looking for it too. And um, let's see where if we can find We finally find the row. Now, it's uh, strange as they may seem, I actually have more Funko Pops than Walmart does in this, in this particular store, in my store. But I guess that's okay. Walmart has everything else. So, we looked at their their selection here. And uh, sometimes, sometimes it's hard to look at with the camera. Because I know Walmart can be... They might Sometimes they get nervous if we're filming it because they think we're trying to check on their prices. But we're really not interested in their prices. Just seeing what they have, Walmart many times has exclusive pops that only for their store. And then of course, in the course of time they become, they open on the, on the market for everywhere. This is their current stock, you might say. So we've seen that, now it's time, let's look at the other toys. Now, in our store, we sell Legos, not many, but we sell Hot Wheels. And my wife, was, she's trying to find, trying, looking at shopping toys too, I guess, I don't know what she's doing. But there's some puzzles. And sometimes it's good to look at these things because if you're buying products and you end up with toys, uh, it's an idea to find out how much they're worth if for resale. If you specialize in it, all the more it gives you an idea of what is on the shelves, where is the market. 
And what is the market trying to uh, push as the expression goes? So that's what you see here and demonstrated here. What we've done is we've uh, eliminated the background noise because in times past, I found out that with listening to their music, sometimes it can be a copyright violation. And uh, we've been warned about that. So we've blotted out all the sounds and it's just my voice. And that's all it is. I, I could sing you a song, but that, that, that might be copyright too. You think? Think it might be? Grandkids are giving me a nod. They don't want me to sing either. I don't know why. The cat doesn't mind. The dog doesn't mind. But anyway, you look at these guys. These are some nice little action figures. Pretty cool stuff there at Walmart. Even like the wrestlers there. I noticed it right there. I sell a lot of individual wrestlers. With the ring there, I, that sort of caught my idea. The championship belts. Those are what I wish I had in my store. You see what I'm saying? And then down there, it looks like, I'm not sure what those are. But there's some sort of toy or something. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So, as I said before, you learn a lot by observation. If you're selling stuff like at a flea market or a store, you can certainly see how they have their products laid out. And these individuals, many times that work at Walmart, are professionals. Look at their King Kong. I have had, I've had King Kongs before. And Godzilla. Uh, they sell good, too. I try to get rid of them before they have to feed them. I'm just kidding. Anyway, these are pretty cool. Like that. These, these rackets. There's a Captain America. I noticed that. You see all that? And, of course, I'm always intrigued by... There's the thing. I mean, I'm always intrigued by how many shelves are, or the empty shelves are, too. But they, they move merchandise, I guess. And so it also is good because once you get an idea of the prices then you don't feel so bad about charging a little bit more uh, than what you would charge. And you say, well, I'm cheaper than Walmart. And look at all the little action figures on the bottom. Uh, Marvel Legends. Those are always uh, good sellers uh, overall. Uh, Batman. Everybody loves Batman, right? You love Batman? Yeah, he loves Batman, too. There's more Batman. I, there, I got a, a person who nodded in case you just wanted to know. He didn't speak up, he just nodded. And then, of course, there's Batman! See, we can put the words up there, Batman, so it gets his out. doubt. So that's good. And, of course, like I said, Batman's always sellable. And uh, even with Funko Pops, uh, I get them, they go out quick. Hot Wheels, their selection is pretty thin right now. And uh, so 